continue with our discussions of the sporulation process, we'll discuss first the properties of endospores. So the properties of endospores, we have the core, the coat, exophorium, the cortex, we have the spore wall or and we have germ cell wall which generates from the uh, spore wall. So the, the core is the spores, protoplast, wherein the uh, protoplast meaning there is what we call removal of the cell wall. Okay, It contains genetic material in the form of chromosomes. Okay. Uh, all components of protein synthesizing apparatus and the energy generating based on glycolysis process. When you say glycolysis process, it is the breakdown of glucose and the release of an energy or generation of an energy in the form of ATP or adenosine triphosphate. So cytochromes are lacking even in aerobic species, species I mean, the spores of which rely on the shortened electron transport pathway involving flavin, flavoproteins, wherein when you say cytochromes, these are hemiproteins, uh, which plays the important role in the electron transport chain. And when you say flavoproteins, these are uh, flavin plus proteins. So flavin is a uh, uh, protein which are involved in reduction oxidation process during the electron transport chain. So a number of vegetative cell enzymes, when you say vegetative, it is the a stage wherein the cells are uh, reproduce or multiply are increased in amount so they have a alanine raised maize enzyme involved in the, in the vegetative uh, stage of the cells and number of unique enzymes are formed in deeply deepic cholinic uh, acid synthetase enzyme also for the sporulation needed for sporulation process usually they are enzymes involved in the uh, formation of spores. Spores contains no reduced pyridine, an amino acid or nucleotides or adenosine triphosphate. Another one is the spore wall, the innermost surrounding of inner spore membrane. Usually, uh, innermostly, innermost, innermost layer, I mean, it is called spore wall. It contains normal, normal peptidoglycan layer. So, during the germination stage, uh, it becomes the uh, germ cell wall. So germ cell wall germin uh, is formed from the spore wall. I mean, so spore wall is located this in this part. Okay, so this is almost uh, uh, close to the or innermost to the uh, layer of the uh, inner membrane or cell membrane. So the cortex, the cortex is the thickest layer of the spore envelope. Okay. It contains the unusual type of peptidoglycan layer which protects the entire cells. Okay. And many, many, uh, many fewer crosslinks than are, are found in the cell wall of the peptidoglycan layer. So when you say peptidoglycan layer, so they are uh, uh, protein plus the glucose or the polysaccharides which protects the entire cells from the different uh, exposure of different environment and even in the penetrations of the host cells. So cortex peptidoglycan is extremely sensitive to lysozymes. So lysozymes are enzymes that are found in lysosomes and its autolysis plays the role in spore germination. So when you say autolysis, it is the self-splitting, I mean, of the uh, uh, self-splitting, I mean, of the cells, especially in the spore germination process. We have this, the coat, so we have the coat, next layer, okay, the coat, next layer is composed of keratin-like protein containing intramolecular disulfide band, okay, it is impermeable of this layer, confirms on spores the relative resistance to antibacterial agents, so usually it protects this, the cells from the penetration of the antibiotics, okay and it contains a keratin it is a protein okay uh, usually uh kung keratin ay siya, the nucleus are not visible okay so exosporium this one is the one of the outermost layer also is it is the outermost layer it composed of proteins lipids and carbohydrates it is consists of para crystalline basal layer hair like outer regions so the functions is considered to be unclear but it is also one of the protective 
um, layer of the uh, swore. Next. So we go now to the formation of spores.